welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burgers. After this, I'm gonna review the Dr. Prager's Mushroom, so stay tuned. I'm also gonna review this burger after I review this from Sunshine. I'm sorry, it's all like, but it's the Garden Herb and it's made with sunflower seeds. And I just got reviewing this product, this product, this product, and this product, so please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because I'm reviewing all kinds of stuff. Like I'm boom, boom, boom every day as much as I can. So I just did all review on this in like very detailed on all of those. You gotta check that out. And then like I said, I'm about ready to review this, I'm about to review this, I'm about to review this, blah, blah, blah. So what are we gonna do right now? So right now, and yes, I just cooked it. You guys to review on these products though. You got to like look at my all my videos. So right now we're doing the California Veggie Burger by Dr. Prager's. I had reviewed a lot of Dr. Prager's. I'm gonna try to review everything for the, this company. I really like this company. This is not sponsored. They're not paying me and none of that. Okay. In the future, maybe I hope so. <laughs> Stuff like that would happen. But the ingredients are carrots. I mean, the first ingredient is carrots. Like it's not oil, water, oil, whatever. It's like veggies, carrots. Onions, string beans, oat bran, soybeans, zucchini, expeller pressed canola oil. And I've said that on my channel before. Expeller pressed oil is really good for you. It's like the first pressed oil and they don't add chemicals to, to pull the oil out. Like, I can't think of the other word, but it's really good oil. You can look it up. Peas, broccoli, corn, soy flour. Mm, too crazy about that. Spinach, red peppers, arrowroot powder cornstarch, garlic, cornmeal, sea salt, spices. And this burger, I highly recommend, like, um, I believe it's the original one. Like, they, our original and most popular patty, and I can see why. So this is what it looks like. I've already cooked it. Put that there. It smells like a bunch of veggies. And I've had this before, though. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, wow, well, you know, this is my first time. No, I've had this burger before. I actually buy it a lot. Um, I like it on a bun with avocados, onions, lettuce, roasted red bell peppers, put some fresh basil on it. I like it in a salad. With the salad, I, I crumble up this. Same thing, avocado. The other day, I made it with um, vegan goat cheese on another brand that you got to try. Um... And I'll look at my reviews because I, I just reviewed a recent sunflower seed cheese that's goat cheese. That goes really well on this in a salad. But just your common salad. And a lot of times when I make this, because I, I grow my own basil, so I do basil and then I buy cilantro from the store. So I do basil, cilantro. Yes, you can mix herbs. Cut up green onions, red onions. I love onions. Um, lettuce, red leaf lettuce, whichever, you know, whatever you like. Romaine mixture. Um, avocado, but I love putting this in a burger patty, but I also like putting it in a salad because a salad can be boring. It's like, where is that substance? Where is that, uh, you know, that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like a person that puts meat in a salad, there's that, that substance, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like hearty. That's the word I'm looking for. So this adds like a heartiness to a salad. But this is what it looks like. You can see like all the veggies in here. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can see it. I'm like, I need to clean my car. You know what? Maybe I'll become a famous YouTuber, be rich, and then I can hire someone to clean my car for me. You can never go wrong with this burger. It doesn't taste like meat. No, if you're looking for a chicken replacement patty or beef, no, you're not going to get this. But Morningstar Farms has, I don't know if they still did. I know they did when I bought in the past. They had like a veggie burger that wasn't trying to be a mock chicken or a mock beef. And I just had veggies in it. And I think Burger King used to sell it, but now they sell the Impossible instead. It's similar to that, but better. Because you can actually see the whole veggies. And although it's processed, it's, it doesn't seem like it's highly processed. And it browns up really well. There is a lot of oil. Like, I tend to air, my, air fry mine because it's quick and easy. And 
when you pull open the air fryer, it's like just grease that sizzling. So there's a lot of oil in here. Um, but it's also like, you know, like even though there's big, even though there's big chunks of veggies, they still like hold. Because a lot of times you make veggie burgers from house and you put big chunks of in-house, your own veggie burger and you put chunks in it, like they fall apart. Like it, it holds together really well. Dude, I almost think it has egg in it because like that's how well it holds. Obviously, it's vegan. It doesn't. All time favorite. And it's not just a bunch of veggies. Like there's a coherent taste to this burger. As in it has a unique taste. That makes it its own. It doesn't just taste like a bunch of binders and individual veggies. And you're like, oh, I taste this, I taste this. Like, there's a there's a something about this veggie burger that has a unique taste. That's all its own. And I don't know if it's coming from the veggies. Oh, oh it says spices. There's probably, it's probably the spices. But if you've had, never had Dr. Prager's before and you're not necessarily wanting a meat and or chicken alternative and you want to try start, like the first product you want to buy from them, I would recommend this one first. I really want to try all their products though. Like out of all the vegan, vegetarian, healthy, whatever plant-based foods out there, Amy's is good too. But Dr. Prager's is like, I've had some really good. I just really reviewed two of the burgers from Dr. Prager's. I think it's called the All American and the other one. I don't remember. They're trying to be a mock beef. You gotta check a review on that. And they're different. Yeah. I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't put on a bun. I didn't put in a salad. I just eat it. I normally do, though. I like to doctor things up. It's still early. It's like, wow, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. This would be good also for a breakfast patty. Like, I just ate it, you know? You could probably put that, like, in a wrap with some, um... Chest egg. Speaking of chest egg, I reviewed that too the other day. Hmm. Actually, a while back. I reviewed the folded one. It's already made for you. Like, you don't have to pour it out. I think that would be good in this. Or you could put this in an omelet. Oh, chest egg omelet. That would be really good. But that's my review on this. Now, what do I give this? I want to give it a 10, but I'm not going to give it a 10 because there's always going to be something better out there. I would assume. So, because it is good. Oh, and I also like this with sprouts. The other day, I lo I I made a. The other day, I made a. Um, a, a can't even talk. I made a sandwich with this, and I just loaded it with sprouts and roasted uh, red bell peppers that I put over the burner. Like you literally burn and blacken the red bell pepper, and then you let it cool off, or you know whatever, and then put some cold water and take off the black char and then the inside is like this smoky oh it was so good what's fresh avocados oh and some hellman's vegan mayonnaise but um what was i gonna say yeah so i was gonna tell you something about this was it important i don't remember so yeah oh oh, I, oh on a scale of one to ten i give this a solid 9.4 out of 10. It is literally, I buy this like all the time. It's like my top favorite. And I've been saying on my channel, I'm going to review it and let you know, but I keep putting it off because I keep getting new products. So anyway, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you'll know when I come out with new videos. Please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Um, I know it seems like it's easy for me to do this, but it's a little bit hard because I have really bad depression and it's hard for me to just get in this car. It's hard for me to get out of bed. It's hard for me to even go to the store. Plus, I'm on a low budget. Like, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm buying all these products and, you know, 
it ain't cheap, so. But you don't have to. Um, but if you do like me, you like my content, like my food, then, you know, you'll see more content. And so you need to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And let me know what foods you want me to try. It's not about just me on here. Like, I do read the comments, and I know, I want to know, excuse me, what foods you want me to try, and I will try my best. I'm on a budget. I live in a small town, so it's kind of hard for me, but I will try my best. Um, I've had requests before, and I, I always try my best to get them, okay? Until next time, bye-bye.